Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to have a kind of quick look at Equator 2 that you get with a Seaboard 2 and you also get the Studio Player software for free. So as I mentioned before, Plugin Boutique have got this amazing offer and I'm not quite sure how long it's going to last, but I would certainly buy it now. So you're basically getting a Creator 2 in studio. So Software Modular and Audio Damage Quanta 2 are both MPE synths as well. So you're getting all that for £189.95. Now that is cheaper than buying Equator 2 on its own. It's an absolute no-brainer. So we'll just scroll down. So um, let's say these are the two that you get with the with the Seaboard. And then we've got the Soft Tube Modular and also the Audio Damage Quanta 2. So they are both worth £200 maybe for the two of them. That said, you are basically getting the Studio Player Modular and Quanta for free. And I don't know how long this is going to last. It's been on for, I think, most of October. So, so we'll have an overview of Equator 2. If you click in here, you can go back to the synth click in here and go back to global. Um, there's kind of three sections. So I'm going to be working in MPE and Equator 2 and sound packs. As it turns out that most of my favorites are in the sound packs rather than the factory. There's a granular motion and motion waves and uh, fundamental sound. Uh, so I got those free as well. And there is a whole bunch of more sounds that you can get. So I might actually buy some more sound packs because these are certainly some of the best ones that I have come across so far. And to be honest, I haven't even scratched the surface with the presets because there's 14 bloody hundred. So I'm gonna demo some more presets just to show you how Equator 2 works. So so for instance, the, yeah, the first preset is called 100 Granulated Fairies. Each preset has a description of what it's gonna do. So a complex granular texture, several plucked instruments are turned into a tapestry of color. Use press to modulate the granular synth and slide for granular quickening and additional pad layers. So let's like say if we switch over to synth, so you can see the press and the slide. Are, um, are moving here so that you can see you've got you've got your strike glide slide press and lift so that is the five motions so and obviously not all of them are going to be activated it just depends on the preset so you can see the presets are made up of either granular wavetable samples or noise. And for instance, this one has got three granulars and two samples, and you've got a total of six. There's another one there. So for instance, we could switch on the noise as well and have some pink noise coming in. Not that much pink noise coming in. That's kind of how you make up your, your preset. So you've got your, your synth, you've got your routing, and you've got your effects, and then you've got the global settings for your octave switch, your uh, voice mode. So we're in 12 voices, you can go up to 16, and your tempo, and basic global preset assignments, and other things. The routing, uh, as you can see, serial, parallel, summed, and mixed and you've got ring mods there for two filters and two effects. And then you've got effects. So there is a fair amount of effects that you can add and you can see you've got effects one, effects two, and then dry. But this particular preset, you've got uh, phaser, flanger, EQ, uh, grain delay, compressor, and big reverb. You can actually just drag these from uh, one effects to another. So for instance, we could take the flanger down and put it into effects two. If we go, that is the list of, of effects. So you've got compressor, noise gate, bit crusher, EQ, uh, model distance, simple distance, filter, chorus, flanger, model delay, simple delay, phaser, grain delay, room reverb, big reverb, utility gain, and empty. So we'll just see if that made any difference. And, and each one, if you click on each one, they get controls at the side here. So that's the, the flanger controls, that's the delay controls, you've got your compressor, reverb. It is a lovely bit of software design, I have to say. And you've got your phaser there. So the phaser's not even on. So we could put the, the phaser on. If we go back to the synth, we've got your macros here. So you can switch between this view or that view. So this, 
th so this view tells you what they are. So you've got granular one, two, and deep space. Put some deep space on. Once you know what they are, you can kind of work in this mode. And the XY pad is still jerky as hell, so it's a it's not quite as bad as Studio Player, but it's still all over the place. It just doesn't seem very smooth at all. And the XY pad it will tell you you've got jerky motion and uh, ghostly. So that is kind of the, this kind of top section. Uh, you've also got two filters there as well. And then you've got your selection of filter types. So we could change this to a uh, low pass. So you've got cut off res and drive and key tracking. You've also got a tone for each as well. So the tones haven't been switched on. see that's been modulated the filter to uh, resonant res by uh, this multi-mod 2 and then you've got the maths now I'm going to have a look at the maths later on because I really haven't got a clue what they're all about and, I, and to be honest I did hate maths at school so um, so I need to do a bit more research into the math section because that is completely different from a normal synth. At the bottom we've got the amp envelope, um, envelope 2, envelope 3, envelope 4, envelope 5 and you can also switch the view so that you get a kind of more linear view rather than this tabbed one and then you've got the same with LFO 1, 2, 3, four and five and then two multi-mods and you can switch um, depending on which what you want to see you'll switch and that's the full multi-mode or if LFO1 you'll get that uh, and you can go in and change all the uh, the LFOs there so we could switch uh, LFO2 to triangle and have them same so you've got square uh, so you've got rising sawtooth square falling sawtooth sign triangle random and random sample and hold tracking as well so we've got the limit on max and that is kind of the main control so like I said you're really going to only really be going between the synth and the effects because the routing once the routing set up you don't really need to change that some other categories that I haven't kind of looked like so aftermath orchestra uh, and also over here, you get tags and the macros, so you instantly you can see and play the macros from here as well. So you don't have to actually go away from this window and it'll give you an idea. So this is a bit of a, a kind of Blade Runner you want to have. So we'll go back and see what this is made up of. Yeah, this is samples. So this is five samples, French horns, strings, tuba, choir, trombone, and sustain. So what does it say? It says a big dark orchestral ensemble preset with subtle expression on press and slide. Play gently without applying any pressure, then press for more volume. rather nice preset so you can see what's going on so you've got glide slide and press so as I'm gliding so if we go back to mod matrix as well you can actually see so that's your mod panels and then that's your mod matrix as well so you can see this is everything that's been applied so there's absolutely hundreds of stuff I mean that is just 
ridiculous. I don't know how many that is. So you can see they're all color coded. So envelope two and the amp envelope are red. The key tracking's pink. Macros are yellow. So there's five, five macros. Uh, the multi mods are orange. The press one is green. The slide is pink and the strike is kind of cyan. So yeah, so that is the mod matrix. And I'm gonna play Alone in the Flying Cosmodrome just because it's a brilliant preset. My whole criteria. So we'll see what's happening. So you've got LFOs. You've got, <clears throat> you've got four or five LFOs going. So LFO3 is going. LFO4, LFO5, and both multi modes. And LFO1. And this is uh, all wave tables. John. Absolutely mental. So let's try the bamboo garden granularium. That's Quite difficult for me to say. Uh, start with soft touch without pressing, then explore the sound by using pressure and slide. Right, let's have a butcher's throw. one and two and the reverb so we'll bring up one of the granulars and see what that does so the slide's gonna I'm assuming the slide's gonna bring in the granular modules bring in some reverb mod 2 so we've got a rental mixture so we've got three granulars a sample and a wavetable in this one so a very unusual preset try oh yeah bright shimmering memories so big, complex, spaced out, multi-layered wavetable synth right up my bloody street. Inspired by wavetable synth from the 1980s. And uh, yeah, so that sounds pretty cool. And this is all, all wavetables. Right, so let's bring on both the big space in the phaser.
phaser off and bring in the fade attack. And more big space. That is rather nice. Right, let's try choir at the end of the wall because this is a bit mental as well. Dark, spacious choir made with real and synthetic choir sounds. Play slow and softly, use slide to add real ah choir. Right. So, depending on where you are, so the choir is going to be like female up here and more male voice on the lower keys. And then some sort of God knows what down here. Um, and this is wavetable samples. So, let's Three samplers and two wave tables. Instant alien Romulus intro. One more, and then that will be enough for this kind of first loop. Try the dance of a thousand waves. Temple synced wave tables. Right, this is a bit bonkers. <laughs> Right, what does it say? Tempo sync wavetable stack to form a randomized but harmonically related sequence. Press for FM and slide for unique reverse element. Right. So that's the FM coming in. Right. The f what the hell is that? Right. This is a pretty amazing bit of software. Considering you can get this for like 200 quid. What have we got on the uh, the macros? We've got stretch, space, and layers. Right. Let's put some more layers. On. Maybe not. That went a bit bonkers, didn't it? Right. We'll take. We'll put. We'll put on some more space. <laughs> that is it for today's kind of first look at Equator 2. There's probably going to be quite a few videos on this because, like I said, there's a lot to it, and uh, I need to get to grips with what the hell maths are, and uh, and also all the mod matrix malarkey. So anyway, so that's it for today. And as usual, if you are enjoying these videos, then please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.